Hello everyone. Today I'm going to teach you how to draw a car from the 1940s. Please enjoy. All right, let's get started drawing a car from the early 1940s. Now, this is going to be very similar from a car from the late 1930s or mid 30s. So, if you want some practice, just watch my earlier video on how to draw a car from the 1930s. Now, the only equipment I have the only equipment I have is an eraser, pencil, and eraser shield. All right, let's get started. So I'm gonna start on the fender here. It's gonna be a little bit, hang on a second, that's not quite right. This fender is gonna be a little bit taller and bolder than you see on the 1930s car. I'm gonna clean that up a little bit. All right, now I'm gonna add in the headlight real quick, just to make sure it looks like a 1930s, well, 40s, excuse me, car. And this right now doesn't quite look like a 1940s, it actually looks like the rear of a car, but trust me, we're getting there. Now, what you're going to do when you start drawing the hood, you're going to do it right next to the headlight, just a little bit right there. There we go. It's starting to look... That's starting to look about right, huh? And I'm not perfect at this. I haven't done a lot of these cars, but we're, I mean, art isn't perfection. So here we got the hood now. Actually just gonna straighten out that line just a little bit cause it curved down just a little bit, not to my liking. There we go. Now, Okay, so now I got here most of the front. I'm gonna clean a lot of that up in a minute. I'm gonna start working on the body. And we're gonna do it just about the same as a 1930s automobile. The early 40s, I didn't get to make a lot of these cars because of World War II. World War II, um, most car companies were ordered to stop producing automobiles so they could get producing war machines. All right, that looks pretty good. And I'm just gonna add the trunk here. And this is kind of looking like a Ford from the early 40s. I mean, I can see a lot. And if you know your Fords pretty well, you can probably see what I'm talking about. Well, let's get some of the body in here now. Okay. I'm liking that. Now let's get the Everfender. having trouble deciding if that's good enough. Yeah, I suppose it's good. All right. Let's clean up this hood up here just a little bit. Let's 
looks like I destroyed a little bit of my line there. I've got to fix that. There we go. All right. Let's actually change up this fender just a little bit. There. Now it looks a lot less like a truck rear end. Rear of a truck, whatever you want to call it. It looks more like a car now. Okay, so an early 1940s car is a lot like a 1930s, as you can see. It just has a much bolder front to it and a sharper hood. And the headlights are going to be built into the fenders instead of sticking up on the side. Now, a few 1930s had fender headlights, but not a lot of them. So this is definitely very distinctly 1940s here. And this obviously needs some cleaning up and it's not as, not where it's quite where it needs to be, but we'll get to that in a minute. So right now I'm gonna work on the door here. Okay, that door is definitely way too far. Okay. There we go. Now, this is ob quite obviously a coupe or a coupe, whatever you want to call it. I mean, pretty sure both ways of pronunciation is correct. Hang on a second. I'm going to change the windshield here. So as you can see, the windshield is going to be a little bit more square up top just to make it um, a little bit bigger. 1940s are looking for bigger windshields. This door is actually not quite tall enough. Let's get the eraser shield in here. Okay, there we go. I have a lot of trouble with doors. Have a bit of a history with them. All right. Let's make this line a little bit different. Looks a little bit more realistic now. Just gonna put the back window in like that and we need a little side window in here okay now to add this again you have a You have a little slot right there to let in a little bit of air to be opened up. This isn't perfect. This definitely needs some work. All right, let's clean up the drawing a little bit. It's I make a lot of mistakes when I draw these cars, and you might be different than me, who knows? Well, you probably are, I mean, everybody does. But, I always expect to make a mistake with these. I mean, cars are pretty complex in general. 
the eraser wouldn't have been invented if humans didn't need it, you know? All right, it's already looking a little better. There we go. It's looking a lot better now. Okay. So that's the general shape of the car. And they'd have some bumps and um, indents to make it fancy. Now, I'm not going to get too fancy today. So I'm just going to kind of leave it right where it is. But we, we are probably going to need a hood emblem. So we'll put that there. And doing a hood emblem is pretty simple. You just kind of take a little extra line right there. And actually, it probably would be a little bit more flat than curved. There. Here's your hood emblem. Actually, why did I put that line back? I'm not supposed to do that. Okay, so that's the general shape of the car. Now, trucks of the 40s, in the 1940s, that's when tr cars and trucks kind of started taking a very distinct, vi um, very distinct looks. A truck looked a lot different. Truck front looked a lot different from um, the back of a car. So I'm not going to be covering that in this video. I'll probably cover it in a future video. But I'm not going to be doing um, that like I did last time. Alright, so we need to make the hood a little bit. Show some detail of the hood here. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to draw the hood line and just have it fade into the fender just a little bit. And that's a little crooked, so I'm going to fix that right now. And we're going to do that. There's your hood. Yeah, a bit of a... Let's see. Fix that line there. It's a bit better. Actually, I need to start over with that little line right there. Alright, that's the journal shape of the car. Okay, I took a break from recording because I wanted to clean a few things up, and now that I've done that... I'm going to get back into drawing some taillights here. Now, taillights are going to be a little bit more unique than the 1930s. You're not going to have a... Not really going to have any, um... Any circles back here that much. We're just going to do a little bit more of a square, kind of long, rectangular shape thing. Right there. And now we need the bumpers. The bumpers are very curved obviously the 
there's one. And we add the rear bumper. Okay. All right. So just the main differences um, between a 1940s car and a 1930s is that you have a much bolder front. You got a sharp hood up here. You got the um, the taillights are built in the fenders, and these fenders are going to um, be a bit taller. Not where the wheel goes, but um, up top. The roof is generally going to be the same in back half, but the difference is you're going to have um, the windshield is going to be a little bit square right there. And you're more prone to see side windows on a 1940s car than uh, 1930s. There's not going to be a lot of flare here, not a lot of details. Um, on the side, it's just going to be pretty simple. But that is how you draw a car from the 1940s. Thanks for watching, everyone. Until next time, please remember that history belongs to God. It's his story.